Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Gamer Chick, and I would like to welcome you guys to Memento of Spring. This is a visual novel. It's actually uh, available on Steam beginning January 9th. I was actually lucky enough to be offered a free key of this game to play, make content, kind of review sort of thing by the uh, developers of Bright Onion Studios, and I was absolutely flattered. Um, I've actually never played through a visual novel in full before, not like an actual visual novel. Um, I've played things similar to visual novels where you get to make choices in games and whatnot. Um, but I've actually never played through an actual visual novel. So this is a pure visual novel and I'm super excited to play through one finally. And I'm glad it's this one because it has the most beautiful music I have ever heard in my life. It's a beautiful, beautiful compilation of music. It's absolutely, it, it's, it's stunning is what it is and it's very relaxing so I'm super excited to be playing it here with you guys um, if you are interested in checking out this visual novel for yourself I will leave the links down in the video description below uh, and you guys can purchase it starting January 9th so just in a few days so that is absolutely exciting but uh, we're gonna go ahead and start our journey into this novel I'm so excited let's go I knew a girl whose duty was to smother every shop window with the misfortune of exhibiting sweets on the other side. Like a brave heroine flinging herself against the prisons which caged her dearest comrades, she attacked first with her palms and secondly with her drool. Ah, a waft of cinnamon, a dollop of buttercream, a smattering of cherries. No. Dustings of icing sugar, a sprinkling of chocolate flakes. No. Whirls of rhubarb jam. We're leaving. Just a little closer and sweet divinity will be all mine. Listen, I just bought you that dress. It was very expensive. Please don't try to make it explode. Come on, we're leaving. Huh? But I've already decided. Decided? Decided on what? <laughs> on which one I want, of course. But it sort of looks like you're staring at... Well, everything? Mmm. That's right. I want everything. Does that mean starting with the windows first? Stop drooling over it. You're frightening the customers inside. I can almost taste it. Juliana, if you, or uh, Julian, Juliana, I'm gonna call her Julian. If you went in and managed to devour everything in there, you wouldn't be able to exit through the same door anymore. Challenge accepted. Ugh. She had hair the color of daisies, a smile as bright as summer mornings, and a laugh as sweet as tinkling chimes. Oh, look at all the sweets! So good! It's like happiness is melting in my mouth. Hey, Emily, try some, try some! It's super tasty! Of course it is. It was paid using my mutton. Tee <laughs> Well, what do you think? Well, I think it tastes better if I was allowed to chew first. Always smiling, always laughing. She was a girl whose optimism could sweep away the bad times like a flowing river. Ah! Thanks, Emily. You're always so nice to me. Yes, I know I am. You're kind of like a big sister, you know? Big sisters wouldn't be so nice to you. I'm poor again thanks to your sweet tooth. With any luck, you've gobbled up so much that it'll all fall out by the end of the day. The end of the day? Then that means we're not done yet, right? In that case, let's look through that other bakery across the road. Uh, what? 
You can't possibly mean you're still hungry, can you? Yep, <laughs> I am. Hungry as a woodworm in front of a freshly planted tree. You have to eat an amount of comparative in size to a woodworm and a tree before you're satisfied? Anyway, the answer is no. I can't buy you any more pudding. Sure you can. We have an extra stomach just for desserts. How many extra stomachs do you have inside that body of yours? Besides, it's not about how gluttonous you are. I have no money. No money? None whatsoever. Look, my pockets are empty. So no more pudding for now, okay? Surely you can hold out for the rest of the day. <laughs> well, I, I guess. I mean, of course I can. I don't mind at all. You old hag. Oh wow, that that took that took a turn for the worst. Unfortunately, such was the discord between my delusions and the real world that even the power of my most generous dreams couldn't hold back the unstoppable force that was this girl's catastrophic personality. Juliana? She had only one talent, and that was for the art of crudeness. You... you old hag. Wh what? A being of such temperament and ruinous inflexibility that she was known far and wide by a single name. The Princess of Calamity. J Juliana, why are you saying that? I'm hungry, old hag. What? I'm hungry. Feed me. F feed you? But, but, Juliana, you, you just ate an entire sweet shop. I'm hungry. Feed me. I, I can't. Feed me. Why? Why won't you feed me? I, I can't, Juliana. I, I don't have any money. Feed me! I... Feed! Up. Huh? Ache up. What? I can't understand you. I... I have no money. Wake up! Ah! Oi! What do you think you're doing falling asleep in the middle of the day? You have work to do. Head pain, brain melting. Either I dozed off next to a church bell or a 12 year old girl was trying to tell me she wanted something. Ugh, Juliana? Wait, let me wake up first before you start demanding things. You shouldn't have to wake up at all. Why are you napping on my bed? Yes, my bed. Mine. Where, I, where, where am I meant to sit? Where am I meant to eat? I tried flicking my hand. It was all I could do to lift it up and then drop it down. My face remained buried in the duvet. My legs splayed on the hard floor. Hmm, there's a chair right... That wasn't a question, it was a hint! If you want to loaf around on the clock like a ninny, that's fine. But don't do it when it's time for lunch. And so, even in the waking world, my nightmares never ended. Ugh. I'm so friggin' hungry right now, I was almost about to go outside. Have you looked out there? No, of course you haven't. Hey, do you know how hot it is today? If I step outside, do you know what'll happen to me? I suppose she'd start putting up a needless fuss. I'll be scorched to dust! Does my skin look like it was built to last against the sun? Does it? And if the heat doesn't get me, then those untrained hoodlums will! I raised my head and rubbed my eyes. It barely helped. If anything, it just made things look slightly groggier. Hoodlums? Yes, hoodlums! 
The moment I step outside, they'll attack me, just like they always do. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Who are you talking about? What hoodlums? Them! The ones outside! Can't you hear them? All I could hear was the pounding of my own headache. Frankly, I just wanted to drift away and steal another moment of that dream, even with the horror ending. There'd been no drudgery, no manual labor, and no lunch errands to run there. Only an afternoon of confectionery shopping and Sunday tasting, which for the price of being called an old hag, was quite a bit sweeter than reality. You can hear them, right? Jeez, they have no respect. Even now, they're hopping in and out of the fountain like a pack of wild animals escaped from the circus. Splashing, jumping, laughing. They should be arrested for violating a public space. Juliana, are you talking about the school children? They're not children. They're tiny demons from the abyss. Some of those tiny demons were bigger than her. Tiny demons. She's calling children tiny demons? I love it. Instead of suggesting they be arrested, don't you want to try playing with them? Play with them? What makes you think I'd do something so horrific? Well, they do seem to like you, after all. Somehow. And I heard it's normal to want to make friends, or just a friend, or just experience human contact. <laughs> I'd rather die choking on a shoe. I'm just saying. Okay, stop. Stop right there. You're doing it again. Doing what again? You're putting me in the same age bracket as them. For the last time, don't do that. I'm above those uncivil miscreants. It's not like I was doing it despite her. And despite how she yelled at the children every day like a grouchy old man, she was in the same age bracket as them. Juliana, you're not much older. In fact, I think at least two of them will be 13 before you. It might be a good idea to at least fang peace and where that leads you. No, it won't. I don't want them near me. Not their cackles. Not their smirks. And certainly not their claws. Every time they see me, they pull at my... At my... Ugh, no, I won't allow myself to dwell on it. I mustn't. Her silence was undermined by the frequency that her ears twitched. <laughs> That's right, I'm above the misdoings of those devious pests. I won't allow their thoughtless, time-wasting, and shameless frolicking to weigh down on my genius mind. Because soon, I'll have my revenge. <laughs> Those hoodlums have no idea what awaits them. Yes, that's right. Let that precious fountain they hog be the last taste of their misspent youth. Juliana, could you please not act like a victim of injustice while plotting like a villain? I'm the one who has to apologize to the parents afterwards. Hey, just checking, but aren't you literally paid to be on my side? That's not why I'm here. Oh, right. I keep forgetting. You're not like the last one. She was a lot more agreeable. Or disagreeable, I guess? She shooed away the pest without me having to ask. And she was less jaded, too. Like, a lot. Even when she called it quits, at least she did it with a smile. You always look about as happy as the last potato in the basket. Firstly, Juliana, I wouldn't know about the last one. And secondly, it's impolite to compare one person to another like that. It's impolite to be snoozing in the middle of the day. And on another person's bed, too. <sighs> I'm sorry for falling asleep on top of your dinner table. <sighs> well, not that I care, but just what were you doing last night? This isn't the first time you've dropped off like this. I was... Ugh, I knew it. It was a midnight escape, wasn't it? Are you frolicking in the small hours of the night? It's that, isn't it? What tragic train of logic immediately led her to this conclusion? Look, if you're gonna do unseemly stuff, do it after supper. But well before curfew. 
If you're not awake by the next, by the time I expect to see lunch, then I don't care which one I wake up. As long as one of you knows how to make pancakes. Excuse me, young lady, but that's not what happened. I was writing, thank you. Writing letters. A considerable heap of them. Letters? What? Is that it? Seriously, you could have at least made something interesting up. And here I was hoping that Miss Perfect Pants was finally changing her granny stripes. With comments like that, I didn't know how I was supposed to feel. Alright guys, unfortunately I believe that's all the time we have for this episode of Memento of Spring. If you guys would like to see more of this visual novel, and if you would like to support myself and the channel, be sure to leave a like on the video and a comment down in the section below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Remember that this visual novel will be released on January 9th, and you can find the link to the Steam Store page down in the video section below. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.